Um, okay, so this is a blog about um, what to look for in a pit bull puppy. Because I had some, I had a lot of people ask me in reference to my other video of um, Pepper's puppies, and just like some random people asked me, so I decided to blog about it. It's pretty weird, I never blogged before, so um, let's see how I do. Um, well, first off, when looking for a pit bull puppy, you have to know what you're looking for. Um, like there are a lot of types of bloodlines out in pit bulls, and you, some people, I mean. Like say you wanted a pit bull that got on other dogs. You don't find that a lot in the game breed. Um, like the game breed, like the TNT, the Chaos, um, Bloodlines, the Cowboy, those are all game bred bloodlines and because they're like the real American Pit Bull Terrier, they're often um, dog aggressive. Because it is in the breed, it is in the breed to be dog aggressive. So. You know, you won't find that in a real pit bull terrier, but um, they have a new line coming out called Bully Lines, and they're they're really some people may get mad at this, but they're like not purebred, so to speak. Their bully bred dogs are massive cross or cross with huge dogs, basically. Um, so, I mean, they're registered, you can register them in UKC, but still, they're just, they're kind of new. Um, but you do find typically that the bully breed dogs do get along with other dogs more more than game bred, and that's just a fact because they are crossed with Mastiff and stuff, just to get out of that aggressive line. Um, so, I mean, once you pick out which kind of pit bull you're looking for, if you're looking for one that's taller, or are you looking for a shorter pit? Like they have the pocket pits now. I don't know what they are, but um, so I mean, it's just it, what you want. Okay. Once you find out the type that you want, you know that you want like a okay. Say you want the game bred for you. Now you have to go through the breeders. The breeders is the hardest thing to go through because there are so many breeders out nowadays. Um, sorry. Like say you have reputable breeders, you have bad breeders, you have some people just randomly breeding their dogs. And, I mean, you pay for what you get, so if you want to go and pay $800 for a dog, you're going to get an $800 dog. If you want to go and pay $1,500 for a dog, you're going to get a $1,500 dog. Um, when you go to any breeder's house, you should meet both the parents or, and if possible, the stud if they, didn't, they don't have them on premises. So you want to ask, you know, can I meet the parents, um, see their aggression, if they have any aggression, see their temperament, test them out. If they have to keep them back in the kennel because they're going to bite you, then, yeah, aggression is hereditary. So you can get a puppy and it grow up to be two years old and it hits its streak and it starts, you know, trying to bite everybody. So you have to know what to look for. Um, reputable breeders don't have that temperament. They they try to breed away from aggression. If they have an aggressive dog, they don't breed them at all. If they have an over the shy dog, they don't breed them at all. And people who do, they're not good breeders. It's just the way it is. Um, also, no dog or puppy is supposed to be sold before eight weeks old. I've seen people buy six weeks old puppies, and no, it's not how it's supposed to be. I mean, if you're in Florida, there's a law. No one cares about it. If a puppy has to be eight weeks old before they're sold, and with Florida Health Certificate. But even if you're not, um, a puppy needs to be raised with its litter mates because it just helps develop puppies. You know, they need to know how they're supposed to play. They need to be socialized with other dogs. And, you know, they learn stuff from litters that if you separate them from six weeks old, we don't, off people don't often treat them, you know, how they're supposed to be treated. They don't treat them how to play if they bite. When they're puppies, if you have a six week old puppy biting you, more than likely going to be like, oh, well, you know, it's just a little puppy. It doesn't hurt. He's just playing. And so, you know, you don't need that. Um, and litters, if the puppy bites too hard, they'll cry or the mama will get on to them. And it's just, you know, you're not six weeks old, eight weeks old, sorry, and sometimes older. It's just a better age to let them go at. Um, and so if you find someone letting them go for eight weeks old, you know, for like six week old puppies, I wouldn't buy them. Um, it's just... You know, you just need that. There's just stuff that we can't give puppies that their moms and their brothers and sisters can. Um, any dog before you buy, 
must let their own shots. If they're older than 12 weeks old, then they have to have their second shots. I will not buy a dog that does not have their shots. Um, that is very dangerous, and you can end up going after vet bills, and it's just, it's not worth it. So, um, make sure they have their shots. Um, another thing with breeders you have to watch out for is paper. Okay, I don't know if this is recent or not, um, I'm not going to say it is, but there's been a lot of people um, registering other, their dogs with fake papers or papers that don't belong to the dog. And so basically you get a lot dog with ADBA, UKC, ADBR, and they're fake. They're not, you know, they they might be matched age, but that's not their real daddy. <laughs> it's just it's just how it is. And, you know, it's, it's stupid. It really is. But that's how people do nowadays. You have to be really careful. I mean, you can always adopt. When you adopt from a shelter, that's nice. Um, shelters now do have adults and puppies. And, you know, you, you won't see the parents, so you won't know the background. But I've seen people adopt puppies, and they're, they're just fine. They act like regular dogs. So, um, I mean, I wouldn't be afraid of adopting from a shelter, you know, or anything. So I fostered dogs that were just great. They were really, really nice dogs. But um, I also have, I have three pit bulls of my own, and they're all from, from breeders, so to speak, except my oldest one. But, um, yeah, I mean, when you have to be careful when dealing with breeders. You have to be really careful. Never buy a puppy and then say, you know, when you go to get a puppy and they're like, oh, well, I'll give you papers. I just have to send them in. So, you know, just pay me and I'll send the papers. No, it doesn't work like that. Um, if you really want to do that, pay half and then pay the other half when you get the papers. Because often, more often than not, you will not get the papers. It's just how I've seen it a lot of times. I've seen it happen so many times with breeders and with people. It's just get the papers right then or don't, you know, don't get the puppy. Or do half and half if you really want the puppy. Um, when you're looking for a puppy, I would look out of state too. Because I mean, if you're looking for like a show quality dog, or if you just want a show quality dog for a pet, there are people that will ship their puppies. And I mean, you're gonna pay like 300 to 400 dollars for shipping, depending on where you're shipping from and who you're shipping with. But more often than not, it's worth it. Um, yeah, it is worth it. Or, you know, you may drive two hours for a puppy. You may drive eight hours for a puppy. It's just, it's what you're looking for and what's near you. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the most thing you have to worry about, the biggest thing you have to worry about, I'm sorry, the most, is the breeders. <laughs> There's so many of them. Um, I do know some breeders that I really like. I do know some breeders that just don't make sense and that I really don't like. Um, you don't, if you buy a puppy, $800 puppy that's registered with CKC, Continental Kennel Club, it's just, you can be buying anything, because Continental will register anything, and that's just how it is. I will not buy a dog that's CKC registered, um, because I can register my, I can register any dog with CKC, you know, as long as it looks like the breed I'm saying, it, and I pay the 12 what is $12 to, to um, register it, I will not buy a CKC dog. And a lot of people pay, you know, 800 and above for these CKC registered dogs, and they're like, you know, what they're not it's just a line that's that's not there basically they're just registering a regular dog you don't know what its background is half the time you don't even know what's lines they tell the lines that they think the dog is or they the dog is supposed to be and you don't you don't really know if that's the actual line um yeah but that's another thing that i don't like <laughs> um another thing with dogs uh, buying a puppy is um picking out a puppy, you don't want to pick out a puppy. You go there and you see the litter and oh my god, they're so cute. And you have this little puppy that's in the back and she is so shy, but she's like the, the prettiest puppy you ever saw. And But she's just shy and every time you go to pick her up, she runs away, she nips and stuff. That's not a puppy you want to get. Um, I mean, yeah, if, you, if you're experienced and you can work with that, then maybe you can get that puppy, but if you have kids and you don't have really a lot of time to be working on a lot of training, which a puppy like that would need, or overly aggressive puppy that's standing on the standing on all the other puppies and biting and growling, that is also a puppy that will need to be worked with. You and when you get puppies like that, it's just you have to do a lot of training with them. Um, if you don't have that time to get a puppy, just I would stay away from the overly shy or overly aggressive um, pit bull puppies. It's just easier, and um, 
makes you dizzy.